Oh, hey guys, good morning. Um, okay, so touching on the last video when I said uh, how dirty my tank had got, um, I've just dragged it round to the front of the garden. And basically this is what it looks like inside now. Um, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's gone really green. Um, and apparently this is the direct result of not covering your tank up and protecting it from the sun. It's gone really green and slimy inside. Um, so today, what I intend on doing today is basically just jet washing the tank out, getting it all nice and clean, and then basically getting it back installed onto my shed um, so we can catch the rainwater. Water out, slimy water. Slimes block the hole.
I think the, the motto of this is basically just cover it up um, with some some form of material just to stop the sun getting through um, and turning your tank green. It's not 4D because the smell is just the inside front and clean.
think the only problem with this one is it hasn't got a long enough spout on it. Which makes it more difficult. But, if I just show you this quickly. Um, yeah, it's still on. I've almost got it spotless. It's a lot cleaner now. Um, there's a few bits and bobs in there, but hopefully I can get them out. Uh, um, clean the end, the outside of the tank, sorry. Um, and then that'll be all done. Just get it installed back onto the shed. Once I'm done then. Okay, so if you, if you get an IBC tank, what you do need to do is get a torque, torque bit um, to fit these so you can set the top rails out and then hopefully be able to take the bottle out of the tank um, from, from the cage itself. Because um, otherwise, you're not going to be able to get them out. Careful not to lose them when you take them off. Um, keep them on you. Yeah. And all you do then is just slide out and slide out the rails. Really easy to do, very simple. Um, just turn off your tap, basically, um, when you're going to fetch it out. So you're not trying to tug on it and find that you're catching on the tap and you probably end up snapping the tap. two handles on top so you can pull it out um, whether that's used for that or lifting the tank itself I don't know or it's just health and safety okay so yeah I took it out just I thought it'd be easier to clean so I'm trying to wash it through the bars <laughs>
because I'd like it to come back cleaner than it was. Um, probably have to chemical treat it. So I'll give it a good scrubbing with a, with a brush. Notice now that now it's clean on slightly clean on the outside. Can see bits on the inside now. People find things like this, like carpet cleaning and cleaning tanks and other stuff, um, therapeutic. <laughs> Can't see the appeal, to be honest, unless it's a form of fetish. Go as bad as I thought it was. and it's come up a lot cleaner than I thought. Um, apart from the outside, the outside's still a little bit riffy. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's a lot cleaner now. All I would say is, um, if you are gonna get one of these at the back of your tank um, or any form of water catchment. Um, like one of my subscribers said, cover the tank up, protect it from the sunlight, um, or you're going to be doing this, um, cleaning out green film from your tank. facing the same side and then basically make sure your tap's off so you don't catch it on the cage and then just push it back in um, after all that
pretty much the same thing. When you slide these in, just make sure they go underneath the handles. So yeah, this way, just slide them underneath. Make sure underneath there. And then basically, just repeat process the opposite way around screw them in by hand to start with just to get them all lined up I think all IBC tanks comes with these um, these torque bits. Yeah, there's still a look. Okay, I think that's as clean as I'm gonna get it. Um, okay all back in place now all reconnected um, I do need to pop down to screw fix get some form of tarpaulin just to keep the sunlight off it um, and hopefully it won't send the tank all green and slimy again <clears throat> if you do like the video please like and subscribe as I always keep saying um, it is going to a cause a good cause will be going to a good cause um, should it ever take off Okay, thank you for watching and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.